Welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about villager happiness. I'm going to show you a handful of things that I've learned to help you make your villagers a lot happier so they don't leave your village. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to and make sure that you have enough food, water, and wood for your villagers. Now where would I put these? Well, firewood can go in here into the storage. As long as there is firewood, sticks, planks, or logs inside of here, then they will be able to use it as firewood. You will put all of the other food and water items inside of your food storage. As long as this has food and water of any kind in it, then they will continuously pull out of that and eat and drink. Same goes for firewood. Now, you can go without water for a time. Uh, you, they will not be completely upset but they will not be happy this may change in a future update so keep your eyes on it i keep my water stocked regardless you can keep your water stocked by using buckets and by using water skins to make a bucket you just go to the workshop and two planks there's a bucket it holds 10 units of water to make a water skin you go to your sewing hut you'll go down to the miscellaneous now, this holds four units of water, but it is much lighter than a bucket. If you are playing with limited weight, I suggest carrying water skins with you. If you have unlimited encumbrance, I suggest carrying buckets of water with you for hydration purposes. All right, next up, I have the quality of the housing and how to improve it. One of the things that will make a citizen happy or sad will be the quality of their housing. The basic house, when built out of, of sticks will not give you a whole lot of happiness but it will but it will be good enough if you improve this to logs your villagers will get even happier if you improve it to stone they'll be even more happy the idea being the more uh, dense and expensive the material is the more happier they'll be overall and as a side effect you'll use less wood you also can, up, can insulate. Go to upgrade like I showed in a previous video and, and upgrading these walls also improves happiness slightly along with using a little bit less firewood. Now you also want to make sure that the village is not damaged. Each season buildings will become damaged. I have a builder set so I can repair them remotely as long as I have resources. But in the beginning of the game, you will find yourself running around to each building with the repair on, fixing broken down walls and structures. And that's okay. Keep them repaired. Make sure, your make sure your people are happy. Don't overlook the roof. The roof can also be upgraded. A lot of people forget because it's up high. When you first start, the roof is made of thatch, but you can improve it to the half plank and the full, full, full plank. Next up, I have picking the right job and what you should avoid doing. Now, your villagers can work any job that you assign them to, but they have preferences. They obviously have skills that you will look at as you go to recruit them. You will, however, be able to go to small talk and say, can you tell me something about your skills? Now, this will tell you, this tells me she is good at diplomacy. If I put her in a, in a diplomacy job, she her happiness will will raise. Now, if you click on does anything give you a hard time, she definitely does not was not a woodcutter and she's definitely not a miner. She's not definitely not a manual laborer. So if I put her as a miner or a uh, excavation or woodcutter, her happiness will plummet. So avoid, if you, you if you don't have the job available for that person, avoid putting them in this in these positions so that it leaves their happiness. Now, if you have a, a character in your village that is extremely unhappy, check the job and check, their, check the small talk. They may hate their job. I know if I hated my job, I definitely would be unhappy. The next tip I have actually involves the house again, except it's play matchmaker. Did you know that when you assign a couple to, a, to their own house, they actually, their happiness will go up over time. Once they start falling in love after, after about a couple of years, 
they will eventually get together and their happiness will be boosted again. Once the first child is born, the happiness will be slightly boosted again, and then a second time when they have another child. This is a very effective way of raising people's happiness, but it takes a long time to work. And one last tip. Kids. They live with their parents when they grow up, and they will live in that house. However, they will be unhappy unless they have their own home. Once your child is reached working age, 18, move them out of the house and, make, and give them their own home. That should give you a significant boost to their happiness. The couple light we saw earlier had been moved out as of a, a season ago, so their happiness is extremely low. By next year, their happiness should take about a 20% boost. Get out of the way. As I was saying, their happiness should take a large boost. So definitely move kids out if you have the building space available whenever they turn 18, if you want to get that initial boost. Well, that's it. That's, some, that's as much as I can tell you, as far as I know, on making your villagers happy. As of this time, I do not know of any other things that make your villagers happy. I do not know if the wine or beer included makes them happy or any of the internal decorations inside of the house i will make i will update this in a comment below when i find out later on thank you for your time and i hope you guys have a wonderful day